Well, I think that's uh, that's covered it with the pan and zoom there. What I want to do is show you another one of the um, the freebie things that you can get with FX Factory. And uh, this is, again, under generators. And we're going to come to the industrial revolution. And this is cover flux too. So I'm just going to play this through. And just so you can see what the default settings are. Uh, and you can kind of see what it's doing. You've got that kind of uh, interesting carousel sort of thing going on here. But let's, um, let's show you what we can really start to do with it. I'm just going to peel the video tab off again so I can expose the controls a little bit better. Now, we've got the default images coming in uh, straight from our um, library. So everyone will have these images uh, already installed in their Mac OS. But let's take a, a quick look at what uh, what it's doing here with the, the presets. Because all of the, um, the FX Factory stuff comes with, you know, a whole stack of presets. So you can actually get to learn what the filters are doing without uh, exploring all of the thousands of, uh, thousands of controls here. So if we go to the first preset there, which is Big Text Blur, you can see the big difference between that is that, you know, it's showing up the, uh, the title and blurring that out as it moves between. Uh, we've got um, Swoosh and Hold. And as that plays through, it's going to move through to our next clip and then hold there. What I'm actually going to do for the moment is I'm going to change this uh, animation time. Uh, because we uh, haven't put it down the timeline yet, uh, the animation is coming over the duration of the clip. And as the duration of the clip is infinitely long as it's a generator, um, this is causing a couple of problems just at the moment. So I'm going to set this into seconds here. And now we can see our interface updating here. Now this is something that Final Cut Pro doesn't usually do, and that's the uh, contextual um, uh, changes within the effects here. So this is actually quite quite useful and interesting. We don't have to scroll down, you know, a thousand uh, a thousand different controls to find the ones we want. But the um, animation time is the is now set in duration in seconds. So we can say our duration here is now going to be ten seconds long. And now if I hit play, we can see really what that's doing a whole lot better. So this is the great thing about having this as a generator is that we can, if we want to, uh, you know, change the speed of the animation, we can do that just with a little slider here or just by extending the clip down on the timeline. Uh, so let's take one more uh, of the presets here and we'll start to then uh, start to use this as a basis to do something even more fun. And we're going to take impressive. Okay, so this is looking like a, a regular kind of uh, cover flow style thing here. Well, let's add our own special touch to it. So I'm going to come down, I'm first going to come down to, uh, to the camera and I'm going to open up my little rotation here and we've got full control over this. So if we want to, we can sort of rotate it around and still check out the animation uh, in pretty much real time. So let's come down and make this come from the top a little bit more. And let's uh, also come into our camera position. And we're just going to take the Z position back a little bit so we can see the whole overview of what's going on. Now, all of these are completely keyframeable as well. So we can come up with one keyframe, add it in there, come back halfway through, and we'll just add another keyframe right here. So we can add some proper camera movement as well as the animation or the auto animation of our, uh, of our little uh, covers there. Cool. All right. So uh, the next thing I want to have a look at is the reflections, because all of these are also fully customizable. So at the moment, the reflection is probably a little bit too long for for what I want it to do. Um, in fact, let's take a look at how this is going to look over the top of our uh, background layer. 